Hello dear friends, welcome to the lecture of ordinary differential equations. In this lecture, we shall solve some multiple choice questions on preliminaries from complex number, linear equation of first order and linear equations with constant coefficients. I have written few questions here. I will suggest you to take a screenshot and write your answers and then you can verify the answers. The instruction is choose the correct alternative. Four alternatives are given for each question and we have to select the correct one. The first question is if r is such that r cube is equal to 1 and r is not equal to 1 then r square plus r plus 1 is equal to which number. Actually they, this uh, is uh, from the preliminary r cube is equal to 1 is the given equation. So, we can uh, write this equation as r cube minus 1 is equal to 0 which has uh, the factorization r minus 1 is one factor and another is r square plus r plus 1 and this is equal to 0. So, if r is not equal to 1 that means this factor is not 0 then this must be equal to 0. So, therefore, the correct alternative is C. The next one is if a is 2 plus i into 3, i is uh, root of minus 1 and b is equal to 1 minus i for all real x, x is real, f of x is equal to a x plus b x whole square. Then if f x is equal to this expression, then what is the real uh, part of f of x? R e f of x means real part of f of x. And therefore, we have to actually evaluate what is f of x. See, uh, f of x is uh, a x plus b into x whole square. So, therefore, here f of x will be a is 2 plus i into 3 times x plus b is 1 minus i multiplied by x means b will be actually product of uh, this with x x minus i x whole square and thus uh, this will have the expansion 2 plus i into 3 x plus and the expansion of this will be x square the middle term is minus 2 x square i and next is plus i square x square i square is minus 1. So, therefore, the next will be minus x square expansion we have written and these two terms will cancel and this is imaginary part. This is also imaginary part and therefore, only real part of f of x is equal to 2 x and therefore, b is the correct alternative. The next question is if uh, phi of x is e power i a x where a is real constant then what about phi dash of x minus i a times phi of x see this can be calculated phi dash of x. So, what is the phi dash of x? Phi dash of x will be e power i a x into derivative of i a x which is i a or therefore, actually phi dash of x is for third problem i a into e power i a x that is phi dash of x minus i a into phi of x. What is phi of x? e power i a x and thus this is the value of uh, phi dash minus i a into phi x and which is certainly equal to 0. So, therefore, this is the correct alternative for this question. Next is if a b x are real and uh, then what is the real part of e power a plus i b times x. So, that uh, can be calculated as Uh, we will first obtain this what is e power i uh, it is a plus i b a plus i b into x. So, this can be written as e power a x into e power i b x and that is e power a x and here we use the Euler formula that is uh, e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta and therefore, e power i b x is cos b x plus i sin b x. So, this is the value of the function and what is the real part of this e power a x into cos b x is real part and this will be imaginary. 
the, that is e power a x into sin b x will be imaginary and therefore, here the real part of this function is uh, this one e power a x into cos b x. Next all solutions of uh, this equation y double prime plus y prime minus 2 y is equal to 0 are given by which one. So, this is a linear equation homogeneous linear equation a linear equation with a constant coefficient and we can write a characteristic equation for this one. The characteristic polynomial for the fifth one characteristic polynomial is we replace uh, uh, y dash by r and y double dash by r square. So, it will be r square plus r minus 2 and y is replaced by 1. So, 1 r and r square this is the replacement and is equal to 0. Now, we can, we have to factorize it. So, factors of this uh, can be written as r plus 2 r minus 1 you can check it the product is minus 2 and sum is 1 2 and minus 1 is equal to 0 and thus uh, r is equal to minus 2 and uh, that is 1. These are the roots of the characteristic polynomial and therefore, uh, therefore the solution is c 1 e power minus 2 x plus c 2 e power x coefficients of this c 1 e power r 1 x plus c 2 e power r 2 x and Thus, uh, this is the correct uh, alternative for this and you see uh, this is the first one c 1 e power etcetera. So, this is the correct answer and next one the solutions uh, the solution of solution of this equation y double prime plus y prime minus 6 y is equal to 0 under the conditions phi dash uh, phi, phi 0 is equal to 1 and phi dash uh, 0. Uh, that is uh, not I have not uh, written it I have, uh, I will check it. So, the solution for the, the question is that is phi dash 0 is equal to 0 we will correct it phi dash 0 is equal to 0. This is the initial condition these are the initial conditions. Uh, phi 0 is equal to 1, phi dash 0 is equal to 0 is phi of x is equal to which one. So, we will uh, first uh, write the characteristic polynomial just uh, for the fifth question we have written is uh, that is r square y is replaced by 1 y dash by r and y double dash by r square if there is a, a triple dash uh, that is third derivative that will be r cube but here it is r square plus r minus 6 is equal to 0 and the factors are r plus 3 r minus 2 is equal to 0 you can verify product is minus 6 the factors are 3 and minus 2 sum is 1. So, therefore, the value of r is minus 3 and 2 and thus the solution is uh, the solution will be for y is equal to or phi of x is equal to phi of x is equal to c 1 e power minus 3 x plus c 2 e power 2 x is the solution. Now, what is the given condition phi 0 phi 0 is 1. So, therefore, put x is 0 phi 0 is 1 and that is x is 0. So, this will be c 1 plus c 2 e power 0 is 1 and what is the phi dash condition is given as now from this what will be phi dash of x phi dash of x will be minus 3 c 1 e power minus 3 x derivative of this c 1 is constant e power minus 3 x into minus 3 is the derivative of the first term. Similarly, here c 2 is constant derivative of e power 2 x is 2 into e power 2 x 2 c 2 e power 2 x is the derivative of the second term. And here the condition is given as phi dash 0 is equal to 0. So, put x is equal to 0 and this becomes uh, 0 phi dash of 0 is equal to 0 and that is equal to put x is 0 here this will give 3 minus 3 c 1 plus 2 c 2 and we have to find out the value of c 1 c 2 uh, from this. So, suppose this has 1 this has 2 and this has 3 we have to solve 2 and 3 and find the values of c 1 and c 2. So, for that purpose we multiply uh, second equation by 2 second equation multiplied by 2 and the equation becomes 2 is equal to 2 c 1 
plus 2 C 2 and we subtract these two. Subtract these two what is a 0 minus 2 is minus 2 and this is minus 3 C 1 minus 2 C 1 is minus 5 C 1 and that is 0. So, this implies C 1 is equal to 2 by 5 and from 2 C 2 is 1 minus C 1. 2 implies C 2 is equal to 1 minus C 1 and uh, C 1 minus 2 by 5 or that is 3 by 5. Thus, these are the values of uh, C 1 and C 2. C 1 is 2 by 5 and C 2 is 3 by 5 and thus the solution will be pi of x is equal to C 1 that is 3 by 5 e to the power minus 3 x and C 2 that is uh, C 1 is 2 by 5 C 1 is 2 by 5 e power minus 3 x C 2 is this is C 2 plus 3 by 5 e power 2 x. So, this is the solution of this initial value problem and therefore, the correct alternative we have to observe it uh, 2 by 5 e power minus 3 x it is here 2 by 5 e power minus 3 x and 3 by 5 e power 2 x. So, these are interchanged. So, but uh, this is the correct solution. The next question if uh, phi 1 is x phi 2 is e power r x then uh, this is omega actually omega of phi 1 comma phi 2 of x or that is Ronskian. Ronskian of phi 1 and phi 2. We know uh, what is a Ronskian of uh, functions phi 1 phi 2 etcetera and uh, by definition it is Ronskian of phi 1 phi 2 at x is equal to determinant phi 1 x phi 2 x and second row derivatives of this phi 1 dash phi 2 dash. This is the Ronskian and now what is x here given uh, phi 1 is given as x. So, it is x we will write its values phi 1 is x phi 2 is e power r x and now here we have to write their derivatives. So, derivative of x is 1 and derivative of e power r x is e power r x into r or r e power r x and therefore, the expansion of this determinant will be x r e power r x minus e power r x. So, e power r x can be taken common in bracket x r minus 1 will remain. So, this is the answer for 7th and you, we can see this is the uh, alternative is c this alternative is c. Next is if phi 1 is 1 phi 2 is uh, e power 2 x phi 3 is e power minus 3 x etcetera. Then what is Ronskian of phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 this can be extended this is the Ronskian for 2 function Ronskian for n function can be written in similar manner. So, if uh, phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 is there we have to uh, write the determinant as having the first row as uh, the functions given functions phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 and so on up to phi n. Second row will be their first derivative third row will be their second derivative and so on if there are n function the last row will be n minus 1th derivatives and thus uh, this is Ronskian of phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 at x will be uh, that is uh, phi 1 phi 2 x etcetera phi 3 x and next will be the derivatives phi 1 dash phi 2 dash phi 3 dash and second derivatives Now, we have to write the values of this what is uh, phi 1 phi 1 is x it is x phi 2 is e power r x and phi 3 is uh, no see this is the problem phi 1 is 1 phi 1 is 1 phi 2 is e power 2 x and phi 3 is e power minus 2 x. The second, uh, second uh, row is the derivative of this that is 0 derivative of this is 2 e power 2 x minus 2 e power minus 2 x. Again the derivative of this derivative which is the second order derivative 0 derivative of this one is 4 e power 2 x and this is minus 2 into minus 2 that is again 
4 e power minus 2 x. We have to expand this determinant, but because these two elements are 0, it is easy to expand the determinant. It will be 1 into product of these two and uh, that is 8. 8 into uh, this product will be 1 e power 2 x into e power minus 2 x will be e power 0 that is 1. So, it is actually 8 minus again this uh, product of exponential term will be 1 and uh, it is minus 8 minus of minus 8 will be plus 8 and the remaining will be 0 you can check it because of these two elements. So, thus uh, this is the answer 8 plus 8 which is 16 and thus uh, the correct alternative is D. Next is uh, ninth pi of x is equal to e power minus sin x is solution of uh, which equation. Now, that can be observed easily see uh, if uh, y is e power minus sin x what is uh, y dash first derivative y is e power minus sin x then y dash will be e power minus sin x into derivative of minus sin x that is minus cos x derivative of minus sin x into e power minus sin x and uh, the second de derivative can be obtained in that manner, but we will uh, see which will be the solution. If you we observe it then uh, what is the uh, see this equation. Uh, second derivative is there, but uh, second derivative can be obtained by differentiating this uh, using the product rule, but we will uh, check this uh, y dash plus cos x into y. What is uh, y dash that is minus cos x into e power uh, minus sin x or it is actually minus cos in cos x into y. This is y, y dash and if you shift this term on this side y dash plus cos x into y will become 0. So, therefore, uh, b is the correct alternative. All solutions of y double uh, prime y double prime or y double dash is equal to 2 plus x r. Now, this can be obtained directly this is separate variables here. So, integrate integrate twice we will get uh, the solution once integration gives y dash is equal to integration of 2 plus x integration of 2 is 2 x plus integration of x is x square by 2 plus a constant of integration again integrate and in integration of y dash is y integration of 2 x is x square plus integration of x square is x cube by 3 into 2 that is x cube by 6 plus integration of c 1 is c 1 into x and plus a constant of integration. So, thus uh, the solutions will be given by this equation and here we may see this is the correct alternative. Uh, next is all solutions of y dash minus 2 y is equal to 1 are given by which. Now, this is uh, the equation we are of the form y dash plus a y is equal to b of x or it is actually a x, but here it is a and b are constants. And solution of this solution is given by y is equal to e power minus a x this is the theorem e power minus a x integration e power a x into b of x t x plus c into e power minus a x. This is the solution uh, given by and here we see what is the value of a uh, for the last a is here minus 2 and b is 1. So, we will put the values here that is uh, e power minus of minus that is 2 x a is minus 2 e power minus 2 x what is b is 1 into d x plus c e power 2 x or that will be the integration of e power minus 2 x is e power 2 x into e power minus 2 x divided by minus 2 integration of this plus c e power 2 x or this will be actually minus half this product is 1 minus half plus c e power 2 x and this is the correct alternative. So, this uh, is the correct answer for the 11th question. 
these are the next questions again i i will like to suggest you that take screenshot write your answers and then verify the 12th question is two solutions phi 1 phi 2 of l of y the differential equation y double prime plus a 1 y prime plus a 2 y is equal to 0 are linearly independent if and only if this is omega which denotes Ronskian. Ronskian of phi 1 and phi 2 is 0. Ronskian of phi 1, phi 2, phi 1 and phi 2 is not equal to 0 and Ronskian of phi 1 and phi 2 is 1 and that of uh, phi 1, phi 2 is less than 0. So, actually it is a result uh, as a theorem if uh, the solutions of linear equation will the solutions will be independent if and only if the Ronskian the Ronskian is non-zero and therefore, this is the correct alternative. If the Ronskian is 1, then it is also uh, the two solutions are also independent, but the condition is if and only if it is non-zero then the solutions are independent and if the solutions are independent then the Ronskian is not equal to 0, not necessarily 1. So, because of this if and only if condition, this is the correct choice. The next one the characteristic polynomial of this equation y double prime plus uh, a 1 a 1 uh, y prime plus a 2 y is equal to 0 a 1 a 2 r constants is p, p of r is equal to. Now, this is uh, simple uh, that means, we have to get the characteristic uh, polynomial we replace uh, y by 1 replace y by 1 replace y dash by r replace y double prime by r square second derivative of y by r square and so on uh, nth derivative of uh, y can be replaced by r power n to get the characteristic polynomial and therefore it is r square plus a1 into uh, a1 into r for this a1 into r plus a2 and y is to be replaced by 1 so r square plus a1 r plus a2 and this is here r square plus a 1 r plus a 2 is, is the correct alternative. Next the solution of uh, y dash plus 3 y is equal to 0 is phi of x. Actually this is also a result for homogeneous uh, linear equation of first order. If uh, the equation is y dash plus a y is equal to 0, then its solution is phi of x is equal to c e power minus a x a of x. And thus uh, for here what is a? a is 3 and therefore, the solution is c into e power minus 3 x. So, this is the solution and that means the correct alternative is the first. The equation y dash minus a of x y is actually this is equation and this equation is known as homogeneous it is homogeneous the right side is 0 and therefore the equation is homogeneous which of the following is an initial value problem here first alternative i have written here y double prime minus y is equal to 0 y 0 is 0 y dash of 1 is equal to 2 so actually uh, if uh, the linear equation is of nth order and uh, that means if the equation is l of y is equal to 0 of uh, nth order then uh, the this equation together with the conditions uh, that uh, if a1 a2 are uh, constants or that is uh, the equation can be written as yn plus a1 yn minus 1 and so on up to uh, a n y is equal to 0. If this is the equation, then the initial problem is the problem for which the values of these uh, uh, values of y are given at particular point. That means, y at x naught is given uh, is alpha 1, y dash at x naught the derivative first value of y at a particular point, then first derivative at the same point is given as alpha 2 and so on y nth derivative at x naught is given as alpha n and then 
So, uh, these, uh, this is uh, uh, may be alpha n plus 1 etc. So, that means these points uh, are fixed x naught point is fixed and starting with the y value at x naught y dash value at x naught etc are given. So, that type of problem is known as initial value uh, problem and therefore, here so this value of y at 0 is given, but y dash uh, at 1 is given. So, these two points are not the same this is not the same and here also y at 0 is given, but y at 1 is also given uh, y at 1 is given. So, therefore, that will not be also initial value problem because first value should be y the next value should be given at y dash and uh, this is certainly not because the conditions are not given and for this problem y double prime minus y is equal to 0 y at 0 is given and y dash at 0 is given see the point is the same this is y and this is y dash y y dash etc. So, therefore, this is the initial value problem. The next one is the functions x and mod x are they are linearly independent or dependent or both uh, linearly independent and linearly dependent or none of these. So, we can calculate the Ronskian for this, but we know that mod of x is having two values x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative of x if x is less than 0. So, therefore, the Ronskian uh, will be if we x is positive then uh, what is the uh, Ronskian of these two x and mod x. So, if x is uh, greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0 then phi of x 1 x 2 that is x and mod x will be x mod x if x is greater than 0 it is x only and their derivatives will be 1. So, phi 1 phi 2 phi 1 dash phi 2 dash these are the derivatives and certainly this is equal to 0 and if uh, x is uh, less than 0 then what will be phi of x and mod x then that will be x and mod x is now minus x and the derivatives will be 1 and minus 1 and in this case also it is minus x minus of minus x that is plus x and that becomes 0. So, uh, Ronskian is uh, 0 and therefore, the functions are linearly dependent and thus this is the correct alternative linearly dependent. The solutions of this equation are y double prime minus 4 y is equal to 0. Uh, we can write the polynomial uh, characteristic polynomial and characteristic equation the characteristic equation will be y r square minus 4 is equal to 0 as we have seen earlier and therefore, the roots r is equal to 2. So, this implies r square is equal to 4. So, roots will be 2 and minus 2 and thus the solution will be c 1 e power 2 x plus c 2 e power minus 2 x and thus uh, c uh, the correct alternative is e power minus 2 x and uh, c 2 e power 2 x may be interchanged. So, c 1 c 2 may be interchanged and this is the correct alternative. The solutions of this equation uh, now see if this is for 18th uh, for 19th the characteristic uh, polynomial or characteristic equation will be as earlier r cube minus 5 r square plus 6 r is equal to 0. r can be taken common and uh, in bracket the factor remains r square minus 5 r plus 6 is equal to 0 which can be again factored as r minus 3 r minus 2 is equal to 0 and thus the values of r 0 3 and 2 and therefore, the solution is c 1 e power 0 that is 1 c 1 plus uh, c 2 e power 3 x plus c 3 e power 2 x. So, this is the solution for the uh, equation given and we may see what is the correct alternative here. So, the last one is correct may be interchanged the terms, but it is of the form the characteristic polynomial of uh, the equation. Now, this is a uh, very easy r square minus r minus 2 is the correct alternative for the 20th question. So, thus in this way we have solved uh, some of the multiple choice questions on ordinary differential equations 
I particularly differential equations, linear equations of first order and linear equation with constant coefficients. Thank you for watching the lecture.